Jacqueline, congratulations on your purchase of your new RV. I'm gonna be walking around today showing you some of the basics on your new RV. This is just as a reminder where things are located, stuff like that. If you do have additional questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. You can always reach me on my cell phone at 231-740-6225. In front here, you've got a power tongue jack. Simply turn this on, use this to extend and retract the arm right there. You have dual propane tanks on this with an automatic changeover valve. Whichever the direction the valve is selected is the tank it's gonna be drawing off from. So if you push it over to this tank, we're drawing from the tank on the right side. Righty tighty always shuts off the tanks, lefty loosey opens those up. We're gonna shut those off as we've already walked you through to show you how to operate the stove, so no reason to keep those on while you're traveling down the road. You do have a new deep cycle interstate battery that comes with the camper, and that's in that box right there for you. Okay, we're gonna walk around the outside here real quick. In here, we've got your crank handle for your jacks, which are located right below in all four corners. We've got your fresh water fill where you simply fill the tank. And we've got your low point down below here where you can drain the tank. Furnace exhaust to keep the little ones away from this as it can become hot after the first, first uh, firing up of the furnace. And you do wanna make sure that nobody gets burnt. Tires, good idea to check the lug nuts and the tires after the first 250 miles as they can become loose. City water connection here, use a white water drinking hose to hook that up. Cable and satellite hookups. You have a 25 foot 30 amp power cord. We do supply the electrical adapter so you can hook those up. Exterior shower connection right there. Again, the jacks in the other corners. It does have a spare tire that comes with it. Just as a reminder, do put the plug in the hot water heater before you go to operate it. Make sure there's hot water in that and that's started from the inside of the camper, okay? your exterior kitchen. 110 refrigerator on the left-hand side here. We've got a stove in the center with a quick connect gas line, which hooks below, and then a standard faucet with hot and cold on that as well. Adjustable stairs here. They'll flip up in the doorway when you're not using those. In here, we've got your new sewer hose and your electrical adapter and your wrench for the front power tongue jack. Let's walk inside, show you how to operate some of the basics on your new camper. There's your furnace. We simply take the furnace, turn the switch to the left, you hear it click on, you hear the furnace kick on, then we adjust it with the temperature setting down below. There's not a switch on the wall for the lights. They're actually controlled from the light itself. Here's an example of switches on the wall, which would shut those on and off. Our stove, as I mentioned before, we fold back the cover to light this, simply turn it to the flame and then use a spark igniter and there you go. Simple, simple. Keys are located around your kitchen faucet. Your refrigerator is gas electric, so simply push that in. Auto feature means it'll go to the most convenient power source, which if you're plugged in, that means electric. If you're not plugged in, it'll switch to gas or if you wanna force gas, simply raise that button and then it'll force gas. Your monitoring system to tell you the levels of the tanks, and that is right here. Turn on your pump, you see them simply turn that on. This will tell you the levels, the various things, and turn on your hot water heater there. Put flush for your toilet and switch for your light. Your pedestal legs for your table, and you do have your breaker box, which is located right down here. Resettable 110 breakers, and then of course your fuses. Carbon monoxide detector is located right there, and you do have a smoke alarm, which is located above. Always a good idea to check those and make sure they're operational. You guys, this is John from Lakeshore RV Center. This is just some of the basics on your new Avenger. If you do have additional questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks and have a great day.